tonight on Swarf and Chips, we're going to take a tour of Dicker Precision Components Limited. Come on, follow me. Look who it is. It's the main man, Mark. Ta -da! <laughs> so, Mark, ah, welcome, we're going to take a tour of your shop. Yes. And to start with, First thing that always happens, material. Yeah. What, what and how do you organise the material you get coming in? Right, so material comes in through this door you just walked through. Um, if it's palletised, it'll come and lay on the floor. We then uh, match the material up to the job it's going to do. It gets the label on it and then it will get decanted to the machine necessary to do the work. Uh, we have a few bar selections. We don't carry too much stock like no one does nowadays. We tend to buy in what we need as and when we need it. Um, we've got CNC saw, so we do some of our own sawing. This is our big billets, and then we, we buy them in as our big billets. Look at you with your fancy CNC Dude, saw. I know. You know. I thought you'd get one of the apprentices <laughs> to axe saw it up. Well, that's, that's only if they do something wrong. <laughs> now, uh, as you can see, there is castings all over. And we actually have some finished castings that look amazing. Uh, yeah, these castings will end up in the States. Um, They've just got to go into um, get get packed uh, correctly so they can't get damaged, and they'll be going off in the next few days. Now, we have something here I've never seen, and I'm pretty sure most people will have never seen. No. But Mark, what is this contraption? Uh, just to show that we can do assemblies, uh, we manufacture pretty much all of that, um, and it's a machine gun mount, and that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a machine gun mount, but for NDAs, we can't say any more. But all I'm saying is don't get on the wrong side of Mark. <laughs> now, Mark, there is boxes upon boxes. What's in them and how do you keep so organized? Okay, so um, obviously they all have pallets are numbered and, and obviously we do overruns of work. And if we do an overrun uh, and there's, the parts are, are good and good quality, they go into the pallets listed on our system. So when a customer rings us up in a panic, uh, have you got this certain widget? We can say, let's have a look. Yes, we have. It'll then go into inspection to make sure it's correct to the issue number, and we get them out of trouble. Um, and we also we stock we stock parts for you know uh, scheduling uh, when needed as well. It's nice to know that you're customer focused. Where if something goes wrong, you're there as a backup as well as just a machine shop. Oh yeah, we we, we do what we can for our customers. Now absolutely. I know you knew we were coming today, but, Go on. and I know how much we like to work our cameraman, yeah. but Chris, Look. can you clean up? I need you to start now. Mark's got you the I brush. Got the broom. Yes, that's Mark's good. got the brush for you. So after this uh, swarf's done, cleaning up. Cleaning up. And it's um, urgent. Urgent improvements. <laughs> now, we've actually been here today filming your latest investment from yeah. Dugard. What a machine. It's a pretty little machine, isn't it, really? <laughs> um, and it does a good job. So, Which is essentially all, you, the, all you need. Yeah. That's all you want in it, a machine that does exactly what you need. But there's an interesting fact about this, where if Chris can just look at the swarf bin, you fill one of these daily from really this much, one machine. Yeah, from this one machine. It's, doing, it's only ever cut stainless steel, uh, and we're just yeah producing loads and loads of swarf. Um, it just keeps on running. It's good work. Which is great. A machine that just runs all day. All day now, long. All, a little bit of behind the scenes of Chris's. I'll let him put this away once he's swept up. Um, yep. <laughs> now, your organization is absolutely top notch, I have to say. Because even all your tools are organized, labeled, and even your colleagues. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, they're normally just in a drawer and it spends okay, you 10 yeah, minutes yeah. looking for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, we try and improve where we can, you know, anything that makes the operator easier. And if I can come in and set a machine, then that's, that's your benchmark. <laughs> if I can find, Brilliant. If I can I like find, how... if I can find stuff and then set a machine, that's Brilliant. Okay. Anyone so if the can boss do can it. find something, <laughs> we're running right. right. Now, we've just got more and more castings everywhere we look. Yeah, and yes. again, obviously, because of NDAs, we can't exactly say what these are. 
But again, you're finishing and the microns you're working to. Yeah, but the surface finishing these products is very important. Um, and uh, yeah, they have uh, tight limits, but we've been doing this work for years now. And um, I'm sorry, just to cut you off, but I'm liking how... Oh, he's there. <laughs> We've got, to, we've got to climb up some steps to get in the machine. It's a big, yeah, it's a big one, that one. <laughs> it's a big guy. Um, the tool carousel caught my eye earlier because it's huge. So, are you doing essentially castings on pretty much all machines? Uh, there's at least three machines we're doing castings all the time. Well, uh, obviously, just for the viewers at home, we're just looking through your... VMC side of the building, but yes, absolutely. you actually have a lot more to this as well, don't you? Uh, we have a, uh, quite a big um, turning capability, uh, turn up to 500 mil diameter, um, down to a mil diameter if you needed it. So, uh, and with milling capabilities on, on most of the machines as well. Just everywhere you look, <laughs> it's just ready for jobs to be made. Like even tools ready for set machines, you've got your computer system, yeah. but as we get further down, you have a Nikon tool presetter. How yep. much time does this save? Uh, I, I think this it saves shed loads of times. We can all get the next set of tools out ready for the next stop, preset them, they're right on the side, in a tray or, or somewhere, and then just put them in the machine, load, load the offsets in, and away you go. It's, yeah, it's a, been a good investment for us. It's, we've only had it six months now. Um, but but you're already, even after six months, you're already sold on it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm just going to sneak through here, and then as Chris backs up, yeah. celebrities just walking past us. Yes. Where he'll probably not. Now, we all know Jason Statham. We all know what films he's been in. But obviously, <laughs> you can't be filming every day of the year. So no. what does he do when he's not filming? We have a celebrity. We there have we a go. He is a machinist in his extra time, which is brilliant. Now, Mark, a big thank you from me and everyone at MTD for letting us have a wander around your shop. That's a pleasure, yeah. It's always nice to meet a celebrity. Well, yeah. So, if you've liked this video, or want to see more like this, then like, subscribe, and drop a comment below at places you think we should visit.